Reno just changed the website design forever. So today, let's take a look on a product called Reloom. It's a website builder that used a lot of AI capabilities to create the websites. But apart of that, they add a new style guide feature that is crazy and you must see it. So let's see how it's work. Here's the page of Reloom. I will click here on new project. Now, after it's open, you see the interface and you have some options here. First of all, you can describe the website you do and it generated for you the sitemap. So for example, if I click here, it's giving me the example of a boutique architectural firm based on Los Angeles, but I can also add my own prompt. So I paste my prompt here, a bean coffee in a cozy shop serving espresso and that stuff. And I want to create this website. I can select the number of the pages. In that case, I will take one to five and the language. Click on generate sitemap and let's wait to see the magic. As you can see, it created the sitemap. I have here the home page and the other pages. So if I want, I can continue to create pages below. Let's take the blog, for example. I can add more sections if I want, like let's click here blog. And I have all the components to create blog, like a blog list header, blog list. Uh, I can add also blog post header, what I want and order it. But another thing that I can do, it's to click on generate content and then it's recreate all the structure with AI. But I want to focus only today on the home page. So let's eliminate that part and let's focus on the home page. So we are in the home page now. What I can do here? First of all, I can make changes in the description of every section. If I click here, I can make the change. So let's add here from all over the world. Let's fix that one. Perfect. We are now okay. A part of that, I can play with the position of the sections. I can do it by click, move up and down or also from here with drag and drop. Once you're ready with the sitemap, the magic starts to happen. So here on the top, I have the wireframe section. If I click on that, it will create all the wireframe for the home page. So now it is ready. And what I can do now, it's make changes on the wireframe. I select this one and here in the left side, I can make the changes. For example, I can move from normal image to card one. I can change from image to video. I can move the, I can move the element in the section and also add a form or only a bottom. If I click on replace component, I will able to select another component for the homepage. In that case, the header. Let's go, let's go with this header, with the image. Okay. And then a part of that, if I'm not happy with the text in the component, I can click here below and it will generate new copy. Of course, I can add some information, but in that case, just show you how it works and it's changed all the text. Now, once you're happy, you can do two things. First of all, you can export to Figma. So I go now and open Figma. So I click here, open the Realm plugin, login if you need. I logged in so I don't need to do it. And I select Untitled Project. Okay, that's the project we work. I forget to add a name, but to add a name, it will be better. Uh, primary sitemap, let's add the, wife, the wireframe. You can also add the sitemap. In that case, I want the wireframe. And now the magic will happen. It will create all the information from Reloom here with all the components. So we'll be able to edit here in Figma in very easy way. A part of that, if you work on Webflow, it's working the same way and you can import it directly to Webflow. So it's finished. Let's see the result. And as you can see here, I will only ungroup it. It's with create here the desktop and the mobile one. But a part of that, it's create all the styles. I don't know why they are not create variables, but uh, I believe that say, if you need variables, the, you can use a plugin to convert the styles to variables. But the good thing is like here you have all the components so you can make the changes, edit them as you want. This is for here in Figma. But the most exciting thing that Reloom launched to public beta yesterday is the ability to do this thing. I back to Reloom and here you have the style guide and that is the magic. When we click on that, you will be able to generate different visual design to your wireframes. So we will be able to select better what you want. Let's see how it works. Now we are in a style guide. You can see here the wireframe we had with the, all the images. So basically it's high fidelity screen now. And now what you can do, you can play with all the visual assets of the page. I can select between light theme, dark theme. I can shuffle all the styles. I can add new colors if I want. I can play with the typography, for example, here, I can select display one, select what I want, more or less the direction. I will, let's take lobster because it's very significant. And here I can select one of the typography. Let's take this one. And you can see how the information in the page change. Also, I can do it to the body. Let's take here 
another typography and you see how it's changed. If you want to something that you surprise you, you can click on shuffle and it will give you another type of typography. Here I change it again. Apart from that, you have two great options here. It's to create the bottom and the form styles. So let's click on shuffle here and you will see how it changed. I will go up so you can see here the buttons and you can see how they change. Apart from that, you can change the card and the images. Let's go here. There is some cards. I click on that can select the radius of the images and also the formats. Now let's change the colors. As you can see here, I changed some of the colors, but I want it in light mode. So I let's take light mode. Great. Another thing that you can do if you want to make changes in the color, if you click here, you will be able to see how it's made changes on this section. Now, maybe the most important thing here that is that the fact that you don't need to generate only one option. You will be able to move up to three concepts. If you click here, you will be able to add a new concept. That will be good if you want to pitch something to a client and you need to show them different options. So I click here on new concept and here I get the same wireframe with different visual design. So let's say that the client wants dark mode. So I will click here on dark. We have is that one. The client wants something colors that are a little bit more shiny. So let's change it. And also we can play with the typography. Once you are happy with that one and you want to pitch it to your client, you can click on pitch concept and then you will have all the concept that you develop for the client. Here below, you can add some description and share it with them. So we'll be able to explain them better how you think the design should be and show them different options. And it's very easy because you don't need to do it in things a very fast way. Start iterate and see direction for the visual design. Of course, if you have a brand, you can add the information from the brand colors typography inside and it will give you much more accurate and real view of the website. Now, one thing that I want to say that still it's not possible to export the styles to Figma. If I will click here on export, you will see it. So it will come soon. I don't know how long it will take to them, but it's very obvious that they will add it uh, quite quickly because it's something that a lot of people, I believe, will need from them. So give it a chance and see how it's work. Be aware that you have a free account you can open with one project and this will be enough for you to understand how you work with this tool. That's all for today. If you need a product designer, my information in the description. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.